morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this. Welcome to the Losing Large series in America. We're losing weight. We're rocking it. I'm doing something about it. I'm taking that big 800-pound gorilla, and I'm, we're talking about it. Nobody talks about it. Nobody talks about it. You know why? Because you're all embarrassed. Today, speaking of embarrassed, one of my favorite things not to do, at least 31 days ago or 32 days ago, is getting dressed. Even though I am not, don't love getting dressed now, I feel like finally, because I'm going the other way, that I don't mind waking up in the morning and getting dressed. Let's talk about getting dressed. Let me tell you, back in the day when I was in the corporate world, yes, the pinker was in the corporate world. Not very successful because, you know, the bosses hated me because I had a big mouth. Surprised? But I get up in the morning, you get up in the morning, and you go down and you get your coffee and you do your thing, you're feeling fine and your fat sweats or, you know, your ties and your PJs are out all the way and your stomach is kind of hanging over and you're good. Until you get in the shower. And you get in the shower and, you know, you know, you suck it in and, you know, on the way to the shower, like anybody's around, you suck it in for yourself. You get in the shower, you do your thing, you wash up, you wash your hair. If you're a guy, you take a shave. If the lady, you shave your legs. Maybe you go out, you blow dry your hair, and then the moment of truth comes and you got to get dressed. How many times you get insane getting dressed? You start to put on this, this looks terrible, then you, you throw it down. And then you put on this, it looks terrible, and you throw it down. And then you put on this, it looks terrible, and you throw it down. By the time, whatever, 6.37, 7.30 comes, you're insane. You're insane for the day. You're out of your mind. Because you look terrible, and you feel terrible, and your brain is gone. Right? Right. 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 So you put on whatever the best you can. Let's say you're, I'm, a, I'm a guy, so I don't know how it is for a woman, you know, sucking it in with those pantyhose. I could just imagine losing your circulation up towards your breasts. But you put the shirt on and you suck it in and it's always too tight and you got the air conditioning, you know, you know, between between, you know, the buttons, and then you have the tie long enough so it goes down to your putts, and then you you know you can't button your 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 your, your jacket. So you take your jacket and you know you leave for work and you're all pissed off and you leave for work, you throw the jacket, and then you adjust the mirror in the car, and then you see the chins. Right? You see the chins. And then you back out of the driveway and you go. So what do you do? Eight times out of ten. Because you're so insane and you're not thinking. You pull to McDonald's and you have a number one. But you have coffee instead of juice because there's no sh there's no sugar in the coffee. And then you knock down a bacon and egg and cheese biscuit, some delicious hash browns mm, going down. The comfort food feels good. And then you're on your way to work. But you're not thinking about work. You're not thinking about your first client. You're thinking about how insane you look and how bad you feel. You see where this is getting you? Getting you nowhere. And then you get to work. And since you blew it for the day already, you might as well pop in a donut that's sitting in the break room. You might as well grab a Milky Way. Lunch comes, you know, maybe you might have a salad. But now everybody goes out to a fast food joint to the go to sort of out for some pizza or Chinese or whatever. And then you do that. And then dinner comes. It doesn't matter. And you go home and you eat crap. And then it's all over again. And again and again and again and again. And then you repeat it the next day. That's why you're insane. That's the bad news. But let me tell you the good news. Because I'm basically a positive guy. The good news is, is that when you start to do the right things, something, even after two or three or four days and your brain goes off, that you're doing something right and you're making progress. So you're on track. And going down the mountaintop, down the mountaintop, the snowball gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And the first two, three, four weeks is the toughest because there's, you know, we all want immediate gratification. That's just human nature in our DNA. You can't knock that. You can't like that. You can't not like that. It's the way it is. But like after you're on it for 30 days, like me, I lost 14 pounds. Now the momentum starts. Now the key is not to have any sabotage. And you know what? For you and for me, the sabotage starts, stops now. It stops now. So that's my tip on insanity. That's my shtick on insanity. Start to lose the insanity. Start to gain some brains and some common sense. You'll be a better person for you, for your friends, your family, and whatever business you do. Until tomorrow, and that's going to be a lot of fun too, because tomorrow we're going to talk about getting on an airplane. Uh, how many will you ask for an extender? Let me tell you the trick that I do. Then I'll have to wear my seatbelt. So until tomorrow... 
is the Pinker saying, go to what, Jargy? What does it say? www.facebook.com slash large. That's right. And join the Lose and Large fan page. Watch the blogs, comment, and we'll see you tomorrow. We'll talk about traveling. Have a great day. So long, everybody.